and welcome everybody it is wtf30 and we are playing pro football draft day sports 2020 that's a whole lot to, to say but we're seven seven football so let's get back at it all right we are the new orleans saints we have no record and we have big salary and we are under the cap by 48 million it is free agency period so we're gonna look right here in the notification center and it says welcome to draft day sports pro football all right let's advance that's uh i'm gonna kind of skip free agency because i couldn't get it to work right i guess because this is the first uh you know free agency it's the beginning of the season right look see the league has advanced to free agency round seven eight nine ten and then boom all of a sudden everybody signed somebody i didn't know why nobody popped up here i i just don't i don't get it so maybe after the season it's a little better now i do know we can go actually sign players so let's go down here to is it rosters no that's our roster um sign a free agent okay now uh, i love the fact that we can sign a free agent and there's all the free agents there's their overall status right there and i really wanted to si sign sam shields yeah. every team needs a good cornerback and even if we have him just for a year or two so here's his stats he's great overall you know he's pretty intelligent he has great speed so let's hit on contract and right here assigned to the active roster player assigned okay now look now it says he's on the saints he's a cornerback and his base salary is for one year and it's three hundred thousand so if we go to contracts not exactly sure where it is yeah contracts let's hit okay he'll be the only person that doesn't have a contract for 2020 there he is sam shields all right so i'm going to pick up a couple more players if you look at all of our positions we have good i want to we're good in quarterbacks and everything. Um, a little worried about a wide receiver, so I'm gonna pick up a good wide receiver. Maybe a good center. Or no, yeah, good center. How about linebackers? We seem to be alright. Alright, so let's go back to sign a free agent. Clear all, give me wide receivers and centers. All right, yeah, we have a look at this overall. We have two centers here. One of them's 28. We're going to sign the younger guy, Travis Swanson, and sign to active. And there he is, and then he's 300,000 for one year. And we got wide receiver Des Bryant. Well, he was with the Saints. That's not Des Bryant, but so we'll definitely have no problem signing Des Bryant. Contract signed to the active roster. Player signed. Okay. Training camps are open for 2019. Make sure to click on your team's training section to assign players to their appropriate training schedules. Since we are the GM and not the head coach, we can't do training. I can't s change the depth chart, and I can't do the training, and I can't do the strategy. And I'm good with that because that's beyond my means at the moment. But we can trade players and sign free agents and whatnot. If I wanted to do it, it's pretty easy. All you get to do is go to staff and hire yourself as the head coach and then boom you have full control of the team all right so let's go to training camp and let's sim it 
Are you ready to run training camp? Yes. All right here is our training camp results. Let's narrow this down to the Saints. And our defensive tackle gained three, whole bunch of threes, whole bunch of twos, ones. Now our older folks, Drew Brees, he loses 11, you know, which is understandable. Every, see, everybody's almost above 30 when they lost stuff. So let's X out of that. We have an email and that should be our training results. Yeah, from the coaching staff, training camp reports, preseason week one. Uh, and you should get one of these every week, right, which is kind of cool. And it tells you where they improved. Because, you know, that one screen just told you they improved by three. But right here it tells you, you know, he improved in tackling or he improved in blocking. So let's delete all of that. And, okay, season predictions. The NFC North is the Packers. The South is the Saints. Okay, so they have us as uh, winning the South. I like that. Let's go to the league media. Look at the power rankings. Nothing yet. We haven't played any games. Highlights, performers, news. That's the same information with just predictions. Okay. There's a magazine. Awards. Nothing yet. Injuries. And camp results. All right. It's preseason football time. Preseason has started. Click the football icon on the top left to open the schedule screen and sim the games. Definitely. Preseason week one. Let's show the game, show the playoffs. There are no playoffs. All right, simulate week. Let's do it. All right, and advanced us to week one. So let's go back to preseason, show the score. You just, yeah, I don't know why you have to click on show the scores but you do all right so in our preseason preseason game we won 27 21 and we just kind of sputtered the whole game well no we had a good first quarter 14 points and then we sputtered after that no big deal i'm good with it it's preseason in fact i kind of wish i would have chose no preseason games so let's go advance to week one I don't even care about the stats. Let's check out the email. All right. Yep. And we played Denver in the preseason week one, and we played Denver in regular season week one. Let's delete that email. To me, that's another reason just to get rid of the preseason. All right. Here we go. Week one, the regular schedule. Let's simulate simulate the week. The Saints have too many players on their active ros roster. All right. So we have to go to our roster. Do you think the head coach would change that? We have 59 active players, which exceeds the roster 53. So let's go to roster management. I can move them to the practice squad or injured reserve. I'm just gonna have the coach do it. Auto adjust. And yeah, put these guys, the young guys in the practice squad. With the exception of Josh Hill. I don't like Josh Hill anyway. I think he's been on the team too long. Drops the ball in, in clutch situations. All right, so let's go back. And let's sim the game. And wait. Show the score. There we go. Wow, we troused them. So first quarter, nothing, nothing. Second quarter, nine points so maybe a lot of field goals uh can we get the game log yes uh i guess the red is penalty blue is change of possessions 
All right, here we go. Touchdown. Drew Brees to Des Bryant for two yards. 54-yard field goal by Will Lutz. Another 46-yard field goal. Uh, Drew Brees to Michael Thomas for 16 yards and a touchdown. Excellent. So since we simmed the whole first... Um, week one of the of the whole league kind of want to see the scores Dallas lost to Pittsburgh Arizona beat Indy Tampa Bay won yikes Atlanta won yikes so everybody in the NFC South is winning Carolina yeah Wow, so everybody in the NFC South, let's look at our standings. Yes, we all want to know. Let's look right here, down here in the bottom left, quick stats. Our offense is, offense is ranked 17th in the, in the league with 22 points. Our defense is number two. Nice. We are middle, well, we're nah, not even middle of the road. We're 21st in yards, 14 in rushing. 24 in passing. Team leaders, Drew Brees with 190 yards. Murray, 87. And Michael Thomas with 71 yards. All right, league leaders in offense, Los Angeles. That's points per game, my bad. Yards per game, the Jets. Passing Jets, wow. <laughs> Rushing. Washington. Let's look at defenses real quick. There we go. Carolina, New Orleans. Okay, look New Orleans down there again. Let's look at that league media. Now that we have some actual stuff, power. We're third in the power rankings. Highlights. Performers. Week one. Le'Veon Bell. Almost 100 yards, four receptions for 101 yards, and two touchdowns. Nice. Let's look at the news. Game of the week. Trade alert. The Cowboys traded Devon Wilson free safety and a fifth-round pick to the Giants for Kenny Ladder free safety. Game of the week. 49ers-Eagles. Is that next week or this or the past week we just simmed? Here we go. Here's our week one recap. All the scores. Defense and Cameron Jordan, New Orleans wins defensive player of the week. Cam Jordan absolutely dominated the Saints. 22-3 game with the Denver. He finished with three tackles, two sacks, one safety. Nice. All right. Let's check our email real quick. Our current opponent is the Minnesota Vikings. And they are kind of towards the bottom of the barrel. All right, and coaching staff training report this week, week two. Teddy Bridgewater improved this passing. Le LaShawn Lattimore is strength and Taquan Smith intelligence. All right, let's delete all. Let's go to the office. And let's sim a week. Let's go to next week. Simulate week. All right. Let's go back to week two. Show these scores. Yeah, we trounced the Minnesota Vikings 24 13. Let's look at the box score. Offensive player of the game, Michael Thomas, wide receiver. Defensive player of the game, Cam Jordan again. Eight tackles, one sack. Nice. Very consistent. Scored every quarter. Like it. Like it a lot. All right, let's go and check out our standings. For the NFC South, we are 2-0. and Atlanta Falcons are... Everybody else lost last week. Good, 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 good. Let's look at our quick stats again. Our offense is ranked 14th in points. 
Nice. Middle of the road. I like it. Defense number two in points. Our defense keeps scoring points. Love it. Yards. Yep. Rushing. Passing. Rushing yards is struggling. We'll survive, though. Let's see. Offenses of the league. Points per... Yeah, okay. We're still not there in the top five. Yards per game. Okay. But defense... We're right there. How come we're not above Arizona? All right. Oh, that's so many points they're giving up. My bad. Denver. San Fran, Minnesota. Okay. We will call this an episode right here. It's a good place to stop. Week two. Next week, uh, next episode, we will probably f hopefully get through the season and into the playoffs maybe do me a favor if you're enjoying this episode hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification button get alerted to new videos uh, if you have any questions whatsoever i am by no means an expert but i will try to answer them so leave a question as always have a good one